Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, now today, I want to talk about Nas Blicky, right? And the reason why I want to get into Nas Blicky, y'all, is because at the end of the day, um, this is a lesson we all can learn. When I say we all can learn, man, this is what we preach about. This is what some of our, um some YouTubers talk about when it comes to the drill scene and when it comes to the youth. A lot of kids glorify this this drill scene uh, where dudes just walking up to their ops, killing their ops, and whatever they doing, it's glorified. However, when you actually succumb to the streets, when I say that, when you actually fall victim to the streets and you feel what it's really like to either lose your life or, 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 or lose somebody close to you or actually go to jail, a lot of people have a different type of perspective on the drill scene, just the street life, period. So I want to talk about all that because today, Nas Blicky has decided that he's not going to be making any more drill songs, Disney's Ops, according to his family, and he's dropping the name Nas Blicky. Now, does that mean he's dropping the whole Blicky gang movement and he's just doing his own thing? I don't know. We're going to have to see when he come out and put out more music or when he just address his fans or whatever the case may be um, in the near future. So we're going to get into all this, man. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. It's lit here. So join one of the latest games on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the latest content. Now let's get straight in. To it. Now, there's an article that we're going to get into um, by the Daily News uh, talking about Nas Blicky and him dropping the name. All right. So a lot of people are uh, it's rumored that Nas Blicky was shot and killed. However, his family is saying that he's alive. But the stage name Nas Blicky will be discontinued. Uh, uh, it is deceased <laughs> in so many words. Right. So, like I said, I think we could all learn a lesson from this because. I feel the youth these days coming up, they're very reactive instead of being proactive. All right, all of this could be avoided. Getting shot, going to jail, being killed, that could be avoided if you just pay attention and, and, and focus on your dream. Focus on getting out the hood. Focus on getting your family out the hood. Just focus on your career, period. Stop dissing ops. Stop dissing dead homies. And you know what's the crazy part? For some people, it's it's substantial because that's all they have when these dudes make music that's not dissing their ops people don't listen to it so a lot of them feel like yo i gotta diss my ops i have to talk about this dead homie i have to spark some type of controversy because if i don't then people aren't gonna listen to my music people aren't gonna stream my music all right so um let's get into this article man and after that we're gonna talk about it i'm gonna give y'all my opinions on it after and then after that, I also want y'all opinions in the comments as well. So follow me, man. So now it says here at the Daily News, it says, quote, Brooklyn rapper Nas Blicky is alive after a gun ambush last week that wounded him in the back and legs and left him determined to abandon his stage name, his family says. So um, one rumor that that pretty much dead it was the fact that a lot of people were alleging that he got shot in his head and he died. Uh, a lot of his ops, you got Nas EBK, you got a couple dudes that was I'm a legend that he was shot in his head. He's dead. All right. But he's pretty much not. As the article said, he was shot um, in his back and his legs. All right. Now it says Blicky, who are uh, Nas Blicky, whose real name is Nasir Fisher, decided that the price of laying tracks about guns and violence and dissing rival MCs on bass driven beats is much too high, says relatives. Now, once again, this is something that he didn't have to go through to realize. I and and you know this is the crazy part because a lot of dudes, especially young dudes coming up, um, they don't know what the streets is like. They don't know what it's like to have ten years in jail. They don't know what it's like to lose their freedom. They don't know what it's like to get shot and feel that burn. So what happens is they partake in the streets, right? Until something like this happened, and now they want no parts of the street. But the sad part about that is some people aren't as fortunate as Nas Blicky and. They lose their life and there's no coming back. There's no second chance. All right, so I kind of do agree with Nas Blicky on this one, how he's decided to just go a whole nother direction. Them bullets probably done burnt his thinking into the right direction. I'm telling y'all, it's nothing 
cool, it's nothing funny, it's nothing soothing, it's nothing good about being shot, man. Alright, now let's continue. It says here, Fisher plans to walk away from that life, though walking is something he has struggled with since he was shot January 27, 2022, along Rogers Avenue in Prospect Leverage Gardens. Um, for y'all that are familiar with New York or whatever the case may be, that's the infamous LG, and it goes down over there. Alright, and um, they just pretty much told us that he has been struggling to walk. However, he is alive. Now it says here, Nas Blicky, aka Nasir Fisher, uh, cop said Fisher 22 was shot in the back and legs around 9.30 a.m. and taken to Kings County Hospital in stable condition and no arrests have been made. And look, pay attention, they said 9.30 a.m. Man, this is why you gotta be aware at all times. This man was shot at 9.30 in the morning. And this is probably why they called him lacking. Who is paying attention or, or, or even thinking about their ops at 9.30 in the morning? You see what I'm saying? He probably still wi while wiping the cold out of his eye. As for the suspects, whoever they are, this just shows you the mentality of these young kids, man. Because these dudes are waking up early in the morning to catch a body. It's crazy, man. Now it says here, his parents say he was ambushed by rivals after a round of bitter trash talking on social media. Uh, she said, quote, he simply had an argument on Facebook and uh, in the Internet, said Fisher's stepfather, who did not want to give his name. He said uh, when he came out of the store, they were waiting for him. He was in a kill box. There were two or three of them surrounding him. It was an ambush. He was shot multiple times. Now, Fisher's mother Dana Monday, she is 54 years old. She's a home health uh, attendant. And she said Fisher managed to escape with his life. She said, quote, he was at his son's mother house the night before. Oh. Now, all right, before we even go forward, right? The mother just released an interesting statement. She said that he was at the mother's house of his child the night before. And if you know anything about Nas Blicky, he always, always, always talk about his uh, his child's mother. You know, he's been recorded on certain lives talking about how they going through it and whatever the case may be. So I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying, <laughs> you know, I ain't going to say that. However, I am going to say that that's a little interesting right there. And I'm going to just leave that at that. Now it says, quote, he dropped his three-year-old son off at school and he went to buy a sandwich. He saw the gunman on the other side of the street pointing a gun right at him. He ran for his life. There were two or three of them. They ambushed him. Now she said, quote, it's ridiculous. They're rapping back and forth. I can't understand how someone could come around and shoot you. Um, she said social media has been mistakenly buzzing about Nas Blicky's death, perhaps confusing him with a similar, similarly named rapper Nick Blicky 21 who was shot and killed in the same neighborhood in May 2020. See, that's crazy because he was also shot. Nick Blicky, if y'all know, he was also a Blicky gang member and he was shot, they're saying, in that same area. So if you're a Blicky, I'm going to tell you right now, stay out of that area. That's one. And two, let's get back to her saying that. Matter of fact, before we even get, let's, let's go ahead. It says, but if the internet thinks Nas Blicky is dead, that's fine with them. And Fisher, who is uh, content to leave him buried, he's doing much better, the stepfather said. On Facebook, they're saying he's dead, but he's still alive. But the rapper Nas Blicky is dead. The stage name is gone. All right. So let's focus on the fact that they said that he was at his child's mother house a night before. Now, the reason why that sticks out to me so much is because it's kind of weird to me that gunmen were up at as early as 9.30 in the morning. Now, yes, it happens, but a lot of times when stuff like that happens, it's usually a setup. It's because they know where the target is going to be. They know where he's going. They know they know time. They know routes. They know all that. So it's kind of weird. Like I said, I'm not pointing no fingers. That's just something I think we should focus on. And it seems like they was probably stalking him. You know, waited till he dropped the child off, his daughter, whatever the case may be. And then as soon as he was done and he went to the store, they figured that's the perfect time to strike. So I don't know too much, but what I am going to say is this, man. For y'all kids that's out there, um, I'm not going to say kids, I'm just say you, because 16, 17, <laughs> you know, you pretty much, in today's time of day, they're grown. 
You know, dudes are killing each other as young as 14, 13, man. But what I am going to say this, man, with all the dissing on the internet, if you got a way out the hood, please, 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 please utilize that. Don't sit there and diss this person, diss that, because you're not, you might not be as fortunate as Nas Blicky was. All right. A lot of people don't get second chances. A lot of people don't get do-overs, you know? So that's another thing. Let's see what Nas Blicky does after this situation right here now that might be a conflict of interest because you know two two g's or other blicky gang members i wonder how they're gonna feel with him stepping away from the whole blicky movement and i say that because these guys know what they partake in man they know what comes with the street life some of them even inflicted some type of pain on their ops as well it's just they turn that's all that is man so let's see how this goes. Let's see how um this plays out. Let's see how Nas Blicky is when he come back out. As for now, that's all I got to say. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.